Hey, what's up guys? This is Safe's Tech Stuff, and today I'm going to be rooting the Nexus 5. So this is the same red Nexus 5 that I unboxed a few days ago, so today I'll be rooting it. So before we start, I have to tell you that rooting it, will you will lose all your data, all the photos, all your videos, everything is going to be gone. And also you'll need a micro USB cable and a Windows PC. So if you guys have that stuff, then let's get started. Okay, so before we start rooting, we'll first have to enable USB debugging on the Nexus 5. So let's hover, head over to into settings. That's where the option is. And scroll all the way down to about phone. And go to build number and keep on tapping it. And you'll become a developer. You have to tap it seven times. If you're already a developer, that's fine. So just go into developer options and check USB debugging. Make sure it's checked. And just click OK. This will allow us to um, run the files properly in the fast boot mode. So once that's done, you'll have to go to the computer and download a program so we can actually root it. So let's go to the computer. So this is the actual program that you need to download. This is called Chainfire. So this is the only actual program that you need to download. So it'll be in a zip file. So just click that and click Save. And once that's done downloading, You'll need to unzip it. So I'm going to be using RINRAR. You can use any extracting program. So once that's done, just double tap it and extract all the files. So I'm going to be extracting it to the desktop. You can extract it wherever you want. So just highlight them and extract to desktop. Okay. And then you'll see the files on your desktop. So here are all the files. So the only one that we're going to be using is the last file that's root windows and this has some files this has some tool files but we're not going to be using any of this stuff the only thing we're going to be using is the last one so just double tap that and it'll open and once, that o once that's opened it'll say please make sure your device is in bootloader fast boot mode before continuing so let's put our device into fast boot mode okay here's an Nexus 5 so first we'll have to power it off but before make sure that you backed up all your data because now you everything is going to get wiped so just plug it into your computer and power off your device and then once it's powered off plug in the USB cable so mine's powering off I have the USB cable ready so now it's powered off plug in the USB cable hold the power and volume down button and you'll come into this menu and this is called the bootloader menu this is the fast boot mode and once it's here, you can go to all these types of options. You can go to recovery. And at the bottom, you'll see it'll say lock state is locked. That means the bootloader is locked. So we have to unlock that. And doing that will wipe all your data. So let's go to the computer and unlock that. And that will start the rooting process. So here's the program. It says, please make sure your device is in bootloader fast boot mode. We're in there already. And then it says, warning, all your data may be wiped. Warning so that ours is going to be wiped because ours is locked so we're going to run OEM unlock so this will wipe all your data so after a boot you should see a big red android on your device's screen press control plus C followed by Y to cancel if you guys want to cancel you can pl click that but I'm going to press any key to continue and once I press that let me click it Okay. Yeah, so I got this menu on my phone. Let's move over to the phone. Okay, so here's the Nexus 5. You got this menu. It says if you unlock the bootloader, you will be able to install custom operating systems or software on the phone. Doing this will wo um, void your warranty, but once you lock it again, it will the warranty will come back. So once you click yes it will say erasing all your data is being wiped right now this is security this mm, security so uh, now all your data is going to be gone and your bootloader is unlocked you'll see the little unlock under the google little unlocking logo and now you see the red android and now it's actually rooting the phone so you'll see all this stuff it says cleaning up using use triangle away to reset flash counter if needed 
rebooting in 10 seconds. So now the phone should be rebooting, and this will probably take a very long time. Yeah, see, this is say, unlocked. That means now the bootloader is unlocked. So let me just fast forward here, because it will take long. So if you guys take longer than mine, just know that I fast forward in mine. So now I think it'll reboot again and then it'll boot up into the welcome screen and you'll have to set up the phone again because everything's gone so it's gonna be exactly like it came from Google so here let me just fast forward this too okay this usually takes very long okay so now it's in the welcome screen you'll have to set it up and once it's set up it should be rooted you can do whatever you want so now mine's is all set up and let's check yep it's rooted see this super su that's the program that you get one this app that you get once it's rooted and if you have that that means that it's rooted but also if you guys want to check there's this app you can download it's called this is the super su okay and if you guys want to check make sure that it's rooted you can download simple root checker this is an app from the app store play store and this app does not root your device but this checks if it's rooted so just click grant and at the bottom if it says terminal rooted that means that you're rooted so congratulations if that says terminal rooted congratulations your phone is now rooted you can install custom recoveries and different ROMs and do all types of customizations so thank you guys for watching if you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comment below. Please like and subscribe. Thanks. Also, I will be making a video on how to install a custom recovery so you can actually change your ROMs. So please subscribe to watch. That will, the link for that video, when it's up, it will be in the description. So you guys can just check it there. If it isn't there, then just check out my channel. Once it's up, it should be there. Okay, thank you guys for watching again. Thanks.